Hi friends, before I start this episode of First Cup, I want to help you with your Christmas gift shopping plans. Do you have someone special on your list who is hard to shop for, or are they interested in unique one-of-a-kind gifts? Then Wishing Stars Native Creations is your answer. My dear friend Chris Mayer has been making Native American jewelry for several years and is ready to help you give that special someone in your life a one-of-a-kind gift. Just go to www.facebook.com slash wishing stars native creations. That's facebook.com slash wishing stars native creations. It's all one word. Wishing stars native creations. Go there today and find out how Chris can help you. She accepts several forms of payment, including money orders and PayPal. This thing is almost totally fat and protein, and you can eat cheese, and you can eat a lot of bacon and so forth. But sooner or later, it violates the principles that God set down. Hey, Mom. Uh, Science is seeking a cure for thirst. I happen to be the guinea pig. (laughs) That fish. Give me that daffodil fish. Give me that fish. news this morning, my friends. President Obama spoke from the Rose Garden yesterday to address the Affordable Care Act, surrounded by Americans who have successfully enrolled in the program. Not everyone could attend. The other four had a scheduling conflict. Good morning, my friends. I'm Joe Hafner. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2013, and you know what that means. It's time for your first cup. Pleasant, good Tuesday morning to you, my friends. I'm Joe Hafner here in Studio 4. That's right, Studio 4. Not even here very often, but always feels like coming home. And uh, glad you could stop by and hope to make you feel at home as well. And a lot to get to on today's program, though. First things first, before we get to the news of the day, as well as news of the weird, the weather forecast, which is a cold one, along with, uh, let's see what else I have for you. Uh, popular tweets of the day, as well as uh, what's trending, plus a whole lot more, and a pleasant song of the day coming up, uh, a very special song of the day coming up in just a few minutes as well. But first things first, uh, you can always send me your emails, you know, your comments via email, whether they be uh, pleasant comments or uh, unpleasant comments. What's with the word pleasant today, anyway? Uh, send me your comments, suggestions, ideas, even uh, ideas for free advertising to Gunther's House of Friends at gmail.com. That's Gunther's House of Friends at gmail.com. Or leave me a message on Skype 
at G800-486-8437. That's G800-486-8437. And again, uh, in addition to sending comments, suggestions, or uh, complaints, you can also send your uh, song request for Song of the Day ideas, and uh, as well as uh, send out a dedication to uh, someone special. So again, you can do that. Gunther's House of Friends, that's Gunther's House of Friends at gmail.com or Skype at G800-486-8437. And I forgot to remind you about this yesterday on the program. You can uh, also, uh, in addition to song requests for the song of the day, you can also submit song ideas for uh, my New Year's Eve show that I'm putting together for, uh, obviously, later this year. So um, if you have a song that you'd like to hear on New Year's Eve, putting together a little podcast for that uh, special occasion, you can do so. Gunther's House of Friends at Gmail. Dot com. And you're probably going, how many times can this guy repeat the same web address over and over or the same email address? Well, hopefully we won't find out, but I'm sure I could do it for two hours. Um, you can also follow me on uh, Twitter at jhafner99. That's the letter J, Hafner. It's spelled H-A-F-F-N-E-R and the number 99. Again, jhafner99 on Twitter. Plus, check out my website at tinyurl.com slash Gunther's House. That's good on your PC, Mac, or Linux computer, as well as on your tablet computer. And uh, also on your sm- smartphone, whether it be an Android, iOS, or Windows phone, tinyurl.com, <laughs> tinyurl.com slash Gunther Mobile. Okay. And you can listen to previous episodes of uh, this program, as well as anything else I produce, by going to... Uh, the Stitcher app, which is available at the uh, bottom of the opening page of my website, or go to stitcher.com and uh, to the Spreaker website and get the Spreaker app and uh, listen to the program that way. And a reminder, if you download the Spreaker app, uh, you have to have an active internet connection in order for that one to work. Okay, uh, Stitcher, I believe you do as well, but I know on Spreaker you also have to... Uh, uh, have the uh, internet turned on in order for that feature to work. But I'm also working on ways to uh, uh, allow you to download this uh, show and other shows that I produce off of um, iTunes. Okay, be looking for details on that in the next few weeks uh, to come. Well, let's see what's on my mind for today. Not a lot has changed since last night when I had a second pot edition of uh, this program and uh, I apologize for it even though it was late at night I still had my morning voice on yesterday recorded the program early in the day yesterday why I didn't do it live well where I was at I didn't have the best internet connection to be able to record my voiceovers and then upload these in real time and so I decided to do an evening show but glad to be back in here on the morning and if I sound a little bit weird, and if you haven't listened for a few days and you're wondering what's going on, well, listen to yesterday's program to listen to my explanation about the microphone. Don't want to go into it again today, but I am talking via cell phone, recording this voiceover, and then uploading these to uh, the Spreaker website. So normally, I would be doing this live in real time, but uh, thankfully, I don't have to worry about time checks or anything like that. So that's why it sounds a little bit weird. Um, let's see. Of course, not a lot has changed last night, so I'll jump right into the news today. This being the most productive uh, day of the work week for uh, you 9 to 5ers out there. Um, and of course, uh, sad news again about another school shooting. And uh, I'll have more details on this in just a few moments on uh, network news from CBS Radio. But in the state of Nevada. Um, there was a school shooting yesterday. It uh, lasted just a few brutal minutes, but the terror will hang in these people's lives forever. As to the question as to why the student did this. You know, why did a student storm into his Nevada middle school with a handgun? And was he targeting the two students he wounded or the math teacher he ended up killing? 
Uh, was he uh, gunning for more students? Police say it's still too soon to answer all those questions. But hopefully in time we'll be able to you know, figure out what the hell happened, why, and the uh, one who uh, may know the answers, the young shooter himself, unfortunately, uh, killed himself in the process as uh, panic students ran for cover. But uh, I will never understand this kind of violence, especially from someone so young that they think they can solve their problems by uh, shooting others. It just makes matters a whole lot worse. But, uh, so, uh, what are your thoughts on how we can end school gun place violence, especially in public schools? Because it seems to be a growing epidemic in this country. And, uh, frankly, um, it's very scary stuff. Very scary stuff. Another thing to need to know today, um, CeeLo Ecstasy case. Have you heard about this? Uh, does that make me crazy? That is the question that CeeLo Green asked in his mega hit song, Crazy. I have not heard this, but uh, we don't know if this criminal case will answer that question. But the details are making a lot of people in the news media crazy, especially at NBC. Well, the singer and voice coach is accused of slipping a woman ecstasy before taking her to a hotel. Now, the claims are serious. He could face rape charges, drug charges, and to me, if the evidence is placed there to support that theory, he should be facing those charges. Now, with that hanging over his head, he was in a uh, Los Angeles court yesterday. He learned that he will not face rape charges. Uh, authorities say there's not enough evidence. But Green will face drug charges. He pleaded not guilty and told a reporter that he was not afraid that he, as he left the courtroom. But he should be. The drug card, uh, the uh, drug charge rather, could cost him four years in prison. But personally, I think they should uh, examine the rape case because the victim, and this is going to live with this for the rest of her life. And uh, I don't have much sympathy for people that take. Uh, drugs, whether they be legal or not, and then hurt others. Okay? It doesn't excuse you from that. But, uh, so we'll see how that case goes. Uh, problems continue to surround the Affordable Care Act, namely the healthcare.gov uh, website. Uh, Republicans aren't the only ones mad about the Affordable Care Act. Commander in Chief himself says he uh, uh, is upset about it. Of course, I think he's more embarrassed about the situation, as he should be, because this was largely his brainchild that he sent through Congress. Now, it may sound like that I am opposed to the Affordable Care Act. I am not. But the federal government should have anticipated that more people would be checking this out, especially in that you're offering the public a chance to you know, drop their current health care coverage from their employer and give them the option of uh, allowing to uh, buy into one of these other programs through government websites, you know, to check them out. And so the way I think they could have gotten around this, granted they would have had to found a way to fund the program for two fiscal periods instead of just one, Started enrolling people, say, back in mid-August. Give people more time. Two months is really not enough time to filter out all the problems. Actually, three months, as is the case is proving to be. Um, computer servers, you know, just couldn't handle that much traffic. Well, the president says he's... Uh, mad at the dysfunctional website that uh, has acted like a blocked doorway. There have been too many problems to list in this uh, segment, but I'm trying to sum it up in three words. Errors, bugs, and crashes. Okay. The president says he'll uh, get it fixed and will employ a surge of uh, techies to remedy this problem, but the price tag